New Blog 22 Friends, said Yehoshua, raising his voice again for all the assembled to hear. Food and drink has been brought, so you can stay here if you wish. You do not need to go and seek refreshment. If you stay seated, the food and drink will be distributed. And I can see there are also shady areas down the furthest end of the park to get out of the sun. I shall return after this break for those who want to stay and listen, to learn more about what we can do in this life to help ourselves. On and I followed behind and to either side as he crossed to where his relatives awaited him. He greeted his brothers James and Simon cordially, embracing each and asking after their families, and they asked after his health as well. The Pharisees are liking my message less and less, he said, but that cannot be helped. We wish you'll be more careful in what you say to them. Is there need to stir them to such fury? They are becoming like a nest of angry, disturbed bees. James was the eldest after Yeheshua and felt responsible for the family. Bees were never as poisonous as they, answered Yeheshua. There is no way that what I have to say and do will wash with them. It is as well to confront their hypocrisy head on as try to mollify them. It would make things worse for everyone in the long run. You will not be involved, though, or your families. You can always come and stay with us if things get bad, said his youngest brother. Thank you, Simon. There will be times when there is nowhere to lay our heads, and I shall remember that there is a place to rest with you and be thankful. He put a consoling hand on the young man's shoulder. Mother Mary was behind the brothers and Yeheshua turned to her as well. There is another here I would like you to meet. Miriam, she said, and stepped aside to reveal a young woman who had been standing behind her, waiting. She was dressed in robes of mauve, edged with silver threads, with a fold draped lightly over her head. Though I saw only a portion of her face, yet I knew a rare beauty shone there. But something I felt in that moment overrode any other impression, for between Miriam and Yeheshua flowed a recognition that was so tangible that it shook through me like a personal earthquake. He greeted her with outstretched arms. Miriam, how wonderful that you are here, he said. And John and I looked at each other for a moment. He felt what was happening too for I could see the suppressed amazement in his glance. Master, she returned simply, I heard you were teaching and hoped to come and learn as well. Nothing in what she said betrayed what passed unsaid between them, but I could see something of it in her face, an openness that revealed the beauty of purity within, the one thing that the master responded to most. Mother Mary was beside Miriam, and she also looked into her son's face. She was smiling with real happiness, knowing that these two were meant to be together. Whatever her son might deny for himself, heaven itself had sent its queen to be at his side. I am staying at Mary's house, she said, turning to me for a brief second. Then to John added, Will everything be able to be done there? Can we continue in Mary's house? Yes, Lord, answered John. It is very suitable. Tomorrow, Miriam, we shall be at Mary's house, where I hope you can join us. Today I would ask you for one favour, if you will. To sing one or two of the songs of Israel to the people assembled here, such as you sang to me when first we met. I think she may have coloured just a little, but she took a deeper breath. It will be my honour, my lord, she answered, if you will be close by to me. I will, he answered. And he led her gently to where his mother was insisting he should come and take refreshment and rest from the midday heat. 
Afterwards, they went back together to the field of souls where Yeshua taught the assembled people more about the way to happiness. And Miriam sang the songs that had inspired the Israelites in days of old. Together, side by side, they gave from their hearts, and I watched the expression of that love in the park of Magdala, sitting close beside them. Full circle for me. This is where I had run away, trying to find this wonder that I'd witnessed and enjoyed here today. Happiness complete. This is the end of Miriam Ring, book one.